which of the following is not an acute aortic syndrome a acute aortic dissection b acute occlusion of aortic bifurcation c intramural hematoma of aorta d perforating ulcer of aorta correct answer b acute occlusion of aortic bifurcation acute aortic syndromes are of three types aortic dissection aortic intramural hematoma penetrating ulcer of the aorta they are an important differential diagnosis of acute coronary syndrome they are characterized by intense tearing pain the location of which depends on the underlying lesion in case of involvement of the ascending aorta pain is felt in the anterior aspect of thorax and neck pain in the back or the abdomen is seen in involvement of the descending aorta acute aortic syndromes are seen in association with hypertension and connective tissue disorders like marfan syndrome aldosterone escape is a escape from the salt and water retaining effect of aldosterone b escape of aldosterone from the stimulating effect of acth c escape from the natriuretic effect of aldosterone d none of the above correct answer a escape from salt and water retaining effect of aldosterone aldosterone escape is a phenomenon which occurs in primary hyperaldosteronism it refers to the escape from the salt and water retaining effects of aldosterone aldosterone is a mineralocorticoid acth stimulates secretion of glucocorticoids and not mineralocorticoids aldosterone has salt retaining effect it does not have natriuretic effect wrong statement about amiodarone induced thyroid dysfunction a hypothyroidism occurs in iodine sufficient areas b hyperthyroidism occurs in iodine deficient areas c amiodarone can cause destructive thyroiditis d amiodarone increases 5 d iodinase activity correct answer d amiodarone increases 5 d iodinase activity amiodarone is a commonly used class 3 antiarrhythmic drug it has a high iodine content it can produce hypothyroidism in patients from iodine sufficient areas and hyperthyroidism in those from iodine deficient areas it reduces 5 d iodinase activity and thereby decreases the conversion of t4 to t3 there is decreased generation of t3 and reduced clearance of rt3 reverse t3 leading to accumulation of rt3 destructive thyroiditis is result of direct toxic effect of amiodarone and its metabolite on thyroid follicular cells differentiating feature between asd and vst a enlargement of pulmonary artery b enlarged left atrium c dilated aorta d pulmonary plethora correct answer b enlarged left atrium left atrium is not dilated in a case of atrial septal defect it is dilated in patients with ventricular septal defect and significant left to right shunt pulmonary plethora is present in both asd and vst pulmonary artery is dilated in both size of aorta is normal in both aorta is dilated in pda correct answer b inverted y shaped inverted y shape is the characteristic appearance of calcified patent ductus arteriosus on a chest x ray pa view detection of calcification was important in the management in the days of surgical management of pda in cases without calcification triple ligation was done which was a closed heart procedure 
and did not require cardiopulmonary bypass. But this procedure could not be performed if calcification was present. A calcified ductus would need ligation and division under cardiopulmonary bypass. Currently, PDA is closed by devices as an interventional procedure and not by surgery. Moreover, PDA is detected and managed in early childhood before the development of ductal calcification.